before we get into the calendar, I want you to remember hit the like and subscribe button, become a subscriber, follow us, and just always let's keep talking about the movies like this. Countdown. This is a movie directed by uh, Justin Deck, and it's a horror about a young lady who downloads an app that tells you exactly when you're going to die. Now, uh, trying to escape the uh, the future that is set in stone for you based on this app is the tricky thing. Trying to figure out how to escape your fate and survive is the tricky thing that these characters have to face. This movie is starring uh, Elizabeth uh, Lale as Quinn Harris, also Jordan Calloway that you might know from Black Lightning uh, as Matt Mo uh, Monroe, uh, as well as uh, Peter F uh, Ficinelli, uh, uh, can I always say that wrong, who's once again playing a doctor. Um, I have to say this was a, a very very good uh, movie. It was it was better than I thought of, uh, than I thought it was going to be. I I had so many jumps and so many like tense moments, and it had so much fun. The thing that I would criticize the most about uh, this movie is the marketing. I don't think they pushed enough. And I found out after I, I saw this uh, movie like two weeks ago, before the uh, the debut. What made Freddy Krueger so scary was how a villain that could come at you in your dreams is was what made Freddy feel more real because people would see the movie, go home, go to sleep, have a dream about Freddy Krueger, and then the imagination of, oh my God, is he real, would intensify. And for like 20 years, I would have to say, uh, kids had that fear that Freddy was possibly a real uh, a figure in, in most people's uh, eyes. And I feel like that that was the, the thing that this uh, could do. But in today's society with the way uh, things are, people are trying to uh, place blame on mass uh, murders or suicides or anything like that on somebody's uh, shoulders, Hollywood or uh, whatnot. I thought maybe an app wouldn't be a good idea. Then I found out there was already one. Um, the problem is if somebody were to actually die, um, then parents or friends would try to find blame on this movie. Boycott this movie, don't download the app. Uh, and you know, and all that ridiculousness. They, uh, there was a lot of ways to, to better promote this film, and I, which I felt this film really uh, deserved because when I saw this movie, the, uh, I felt like the word of mouth was good. Everybody who came out of that theater had the, uh, basically the same um, experience. Uh, uh, great characters, uh, a lot of fun moments. Elizabeth Lail and Jordan uh, had a lot of good chemistry. Um, they it, it was a kind of a cheesy way they, they got together but it was it's still believable enough again uh peter playing another doctor uh was is was, was atypical I, I remember looking over and going he's playing a doctor again it's like this is a typecast that you just cannot get away from i mean but the person who i felt like was the breakaway uh character pj Burney as father john now he played this zany type of unorthodox uh father that, that that they uh come that they come to for help in escaping uh what's coming after them through this app and i gotta say every scene he was in totally stole it tom Segura also played a uh, a character that kind of stole uh every scene that he was in too very funny the comic relief in this that that uh, kind of broke up the monotony of the of the tense and the horror was was very well placed very well paced movie I, I can't say that it was too long or too short it was about the right amount of time and it and it played very well this is a good movie that will give you a good uh, scare it'll make you uh, second guess your uh, yourself are, are we too much of a of a slave mentality to these uh to these cell phones right here and are we doing too much uh, as far as uh, uh letting these screens take over our lives and control our fates in, in so many ways a lot of a lot of hidden metaphors a lot of wild theories in this uh in this film but you you have fun with it nonetheless but it, it i feel like it just missed the mark on the marketing part of it um if this film uh would it would rev uh, would have revved up the marketing it probably would do well i'm hoping it does well you should go see it go check it out it was a very well done movie you'll have a lot of fun with it and uh tell me what you think about it guys let's just keep talking